successive percentages you will see all these questions in the problems related to a into b is equal to k a into b is equal to k that means length into breadth is equal to area of the rectangle length into breadth is equal to area of the rectangle we can use it in rectangle based problems side into side it is area of the square we can use it in this kind of problems next one price of one marker is 20 rupees total 10 markers i purchased price into consumption is expenditure related things expenditure related price into consumption is expenditure next one speed into time is distance wherever the product of two parameters are constant i can use these concept speed into time is distance next one men into days is work men into days is equal to work next one number of seats number of seats in a theater into ticket cost per seat into ticket cost per seat will give you the revenue per show revenue per show please write down number of seats into ticket cost per seat is equal to revenue for show wherever the product of two parameters are constant i can use these successive percentage i can use these successive percentage i can also use it in principal into principal into effective rate of interest principal into effective rate of interest it is amount i can also use it here principal into effective rate of interest it is amount wherever the product of two parameters are constant i can use this concept of successive percentage i can use this concept of successive percentage side heading application or you can also use it in multiplications squares and cubes i will explain that one you can also use these successive percentage to find the square of a number to find the cube of a number to do the multiplication of a number how please we will see please write down multiplication squares cubes here also it can be used wherever you see any successive in percentage related problems these are the various areas in which this can be used various areas this can be used side heading application side heading application listen carefully sir application very beautiful concept we will discuss see here 12 square is 144 12 square is 144 how you can use a successive percentage 12 square can be written as 12 into 12 12 into 12 12 means on 10 there is an increase of 2 yes or no 12 means on 10 there is an increase of 2 2 by 10 is 1 by 5 which is 20 percentage increase 2 by 10 is 1 by 5 there is a 20 percentage increase overall percentage is given by a plus b plus a into b divided by 100 it is 44 percentage 
that means it is 44 by 100 and 144 increase. What is the value? 144. Beautiful way of looking at successive percentage. One more, sir. How it can be used in multiplication? 12, 13, sir. If you do ordinary multiplication, it is 156. 12 it is on 100 to increase on, on 10 to increase on 10 3 increase on 10 to increase is 20 percentage on 10 3 increase is 30 percentage overall it is given by a plus b plus a into b divided by 100 percentage it is 56 percentage that means 56 by 100 on 156 increase 156 write down sir 12 square is 144 on 10 to increase on 10 to increase this is 20 percentage this is 20 percentage Overall percentage increase is given by A plus B plus AB by 100. 20 plus 20, 40, 40 plus 4, 44. On 144 increase, it is 144. On 156 increase, it is 156. One more complicated thing we will do. 96 into 97. Just to show you the beauty of successive percentage. If you multiply, it is 9312. 96 into 97 is 9312. 96 is 4 less than 100. 97 is 3 less than 100. It is 4 percentage drop. Here it is. 3 percentage drop. So, this will be A plus B plus A into B divided by 100. This will be minus 7 plus 0 0.12. So, this will be minus 6.88 percentage. Minus 68.88 minus 6.88 by 100 base it is a 10 power 4 so here it is minus 688 from 10,688 subtraction answer will be 9312 please write down. another beauty of it 96 into 97 on 104 decrease on 103 decrease a plus b plus a b by 100 a is minus 4, B is minus 3. A plus B plus AB by 100. Minus 7 plus 0.12. It is minus 6.88. Sir, why it is 10 power 4 came? Initial value 100, initial value 100. Initial value 100, initial value 100. Next 10-15 minutes, please pay a lot of extra attention, sir. Fourth question. Fourth question. One point zero two. Please write down. One point zero two. Power four. Approximate value. Next fifteen minutes. Pay attention. One point zero two power four. One point zero two power four is one point zero two into one point zero two into 1.02 into 1.02 1.02 means on 1.2 increase 2 percentage here also it is 2 percentage 2 percentage and here also 2 2 with 2 a plus b plus a b by 100 it is greater than 4 percentage just now we discussed a plus b plus a b by 100 it is also greater than 4 percentage so it is greater than a plus b 
plus a into b by 100 it is 8.16 percentage 8.16 by 100 it is 0 0.0816 answer is just greater than 1.0816 please write down 1.02 power 4 1.02 into 1.02 into 1.02 into 1.02 on 1.02 increase on 1.02 increase on 1.02 increase on 1.02 increase a plus b plus a b by 100 it is greater than a plus b it is greater than 4 percentage it is greater than 4 percentage a plus b plus a into b by 100 answer is greater than 8.16 percentage percentage is by 100 so answer is greater than 1.0816 fifth question fifth question 1.03 power 8 1.03 power 8 approximately can I write it as 1.03 into 1.03 and so on 8 times 1.03 into 1.03 and so on up to 8 times 1.03 is and 1.03 more that means 3 percentage 8 times 3 percentage 8 times 3 percentage 8 times this with this it is greater than 6 percentage a plus b plus a b by 100 is greater than a plus b it is greater than 6 percentage it is greater than 6 percentage it is greater than 6 6 with 6 it is greater than 12 percentage 6 with 6 it is greater than 12 percentage a plus b plus a b by 100 12 plus 12 plus 12 into 12 divided by 100 so answer is greater than 25.44 percentage so answer is greater than 1.2544 approximately 1.2544 25.44 is 25.44 by 100 which is 0 0.2544 0 0.2544 idea clear 1.03 power sixth question 1.05 power 5 approximately how much 1.05 power 5 approximately how much this will be 1.05 into 1.05 and so on up to 1.05 it is 5 percentage 5 percentage 5 percentage 5 percentage 5 percentage it is greater than 10 it is greater than 10 it is 5 it is greater than 20 and greater than 5 greater than 26 answer is greater than 1.26 answer is greater than 1.26 this is the concept where it is used we will see first question r percentage is 20 percentage what is the effective rate of interest if it is if it is compounded what is the effective rate of interest if it is compounded half yearly 
compounded half yearly quarterly quarterly every four months every every two months very very important sir please write down our percentage is given 20 percentage it is for 12 months if the rate of interest is 20 percentage for 12 months what is the effective rate of interest if it is compounded half yearly quarterly every four months every two months half yearly half of an year that means six months quarterly quarter means one fourth of twelve which is three months which is three months three months. first convert that statement into months convert that statement into months second thing it is 20 percentage it is 12 months 20 percentage 12 months i require for 6 months 6 months it will be 10 percentage how many times suppose i gave my friend 100 rupees he said i will meet you every 6 months that means in a year how many times he will meet two times that means 10 percentage 2 times 10 plus 10 plus 10 into 10 divided by 100 effective rate of interest if it is compounded half yearly will be 21 percentage I gave 100 rupees to my friend if he is meeting at the end of the year he has to give me 20 rupees extra I said meet me after 6 months Instead of giving the money at the end of 12 months, I say it, give it in installments after 6 months. 20 percentage 12 months. 6 months, why 6 months compounded half yearly? 10 percentage. That means 10 percentage after 6 months. 12 months means 10 percentage successively. 2 times. A plus B plus AB by 100. That means... I am just telling my friend to meet me twice to get that one rupee extra. Next one. See, if you just do not understand this, CI will be problem to you, sir. Compound interest. This is the first question. Second one. Quart 20 percentage. It is 12 months. 3 months. It is 5 percentage. 3 months 5 percentage total how many times he will meet me 4 times that is the reason we just did right now 5 5 5 5 5 5 with 5 greater than 10 5 with 5 greater than 10 it is greater than 21 percentage if you take an exact value you will get the answer are you all with me our best way to solve it is by using answer option 5 percentage increases on 105 more 105 by 100 105 by 100 105 by 100 105 by 100 105 it is divisible by 7 answer 100 plus answer should be divisible by 7 right most non zero digit it should be 5 understood the idea third question Quarterly every 4 months, 20 percentage 12 months, 4 months it is 20 by 3, which is 6.67 percentage. 4 months means how many times he will do? 6.67, 6.67, 6.67. It is greater than 13.34, it is 6.67. Whatever answer you get, that's one. Every two months, two months means 20 percentage 12 months. Two months means 20 by 6. 
20 by 6 percentage total 6 times I will do. Are you all with me? Please write down this idea. Concept is clear, right? What is the difference between rate of interest and effective rate of interest? Effective rate of interest is the change depending upon the change in the time period. Here time period I changed it. So rate value changed. Rate value changed. Half yearly, quarterly, every four months, every two months. Every two months. Idea clear? Successive percentage is, is defined as repeated application of percentages. Rightmost non-zero digit, prime number, divisibility rule are used to eliminate incorrect answer options. And it is used heavily in percentages related problems. 